Hello everybody, this is Dave with Blue Bears Games and we're going to be doing another edition of Kraken Packs. This time we're going to be doing the second box of the Theros Beyond Death case that I bought. Uh, this one is actually uh, a little weirder. Uh, today, I'm doing it at night. I'm testing out what it looks like at night time with the lighting I have. It's not the greatest, but hopefully it works. Uh, the other thing is, is that I'm actually recording this ahead of time because to finish out my... Uh, Commander decks, I, I would kind of need a couple of the cards from in here, so I'm hoping that I can pull them from this box so that I can complete out the two decks that I'm trying to get a video on. So, let's go ahead and start, and let's see if we get them. So, let's open this up. Right, let's see. Alright, so, I need an Ashiok. Is it Ashiok? I forget. It's the, pla the black-blue Planeswalker. I believe it's Ashiok. Uh, I do need that, because without that, I can't finish out the Aloro deck. Uh, on top of that, I did pull the Helios from the first box, and while that is great, I do like that I pulled that. Uh, I also think that I need a second one for, I mean, other than the fact that monetarily it's one of the higher ones, I still think I need it for another deck. So, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't pull them. So, let's start with pack one. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit here for you guys. Make it easier to see. And let's see. Alright, so first pack. We pull. Ooh, that's not working. Uh, it's Gravebreaker Lamis. Lamia. Interesting. Well, I'm having a little technical difficulties with it. There we go. Alright. So, Grave Breaker Lamias. Actually, because I'm not able to notice it, that's actually a rare foil. Alright, so, the Lamia is a foil. And we pulled a Shadow Spear as well. So, Quick Creature gets plus one plus one, has Trample and Lifelink, and Permanence, your opponent's control. Lose Hexproof and Indestructible into the turn. That may actually be going into a deck. Alright, let me go ahead and adjust the camera here a little bit. There we go. All right, so that's what we pulled out of. That. That's actually not a horrible, horrible pack. I'm happy with that. All right, and let's see what we got for uncommons. So not too too bad. All right, I did go ahead and sort the other box on the commons and uncommons. I didn't pull a whole lot of like the good uncommons that I was hoping to pull. Some of the stuff in this set is actually not bad in the uncommon slot. Uh, I did not pull a whole lot of good stuff, though, so. Alright, now that's cool. Alright, I'm happy with this box right off the bat. I am a big fan of counter magic. I do collect foil counter magic, and guess what? It gave me, if I can get some light on here, and then maybe you can see it, a foil whirlwind denial. That's actually pretty cool. I'm happy with that. Ooh, and what I was complaining about, I ate it last time, a Nyx Lotus. So this pack right here, best pack yet. Foil Whirlwind Denial for me is like the creme de la creme of things. Alright, and then Timoret and Kyothis' Design and Elspeth's Nightmare are the uncommons. I'm happy with that. I do. I I've been collecting Foil Counter Magic since uh, Foiling started. <laughs> uh, I do have two full play sets of different versions of the Counter Spell itself. Four Foil Undermines, four Foil uh, Absorbs, the original one. So I do collect a lot of it. Uh, I have laxed in that recently, but... Alright. Now, that is a foil as well. Wow, there's a lot of foils coming out of this. Underworld Rage Hound, and then the rare is Treacherous Blessing. Interesting. Alright, so when it enters the battlefield, draw three cards, and whenever you cast a spell, you lose a life. Uh, when it becomes a target of solar ability, sacrifice it. So, that's actually three to cast for draw three cards. Not too, too bad. Alright, Hero of Nyxborn, Commanding Presence, and Shoal Kraken are the uncommons. But yeah, I've been collecting Foil Counter Magic since they became a thing, and not only that, but I also, you know, I stopped doing it because they started making Counter Magic weaker and weaker. I do not have a Foil Force of Will, I wish I did. That would be nice. 
I do not have a full mana drain, that would be even better. Alright, so my rare Bronze Hide Lion. So, this is the, uh, the current version of Fleece Main Lion. It's not a big card. I like that one. Alright, and then Nessian Wander, Dream Shaper Shaman, and Enemy of Enlightenment are the uncommons. Next pack. Yeah, I wish I could get my hands on some of the, the, the older counter magic that was foiled recently, but unfortunately, they're too expensive for my tastes. I like them, but not that much. Uh, Thrix the Sudden Storm is my rare in this pack. I pulled two of them from the last box. So, apparently that's the most common of the rares that I'm going to pull. Alright. Next pack. Started off strong. I'm hoping it doesn't die down quickly. I'm hoping for some good mythics. Um, apparently those new um, not the gods, what are they? The uh, titans or whatever they called them on this one. Hey, is that foil? No, it's not. That would have been nice. Alright. In this one we have Galia of the Endless Dance. To the cast 2-2. Two, two. Haste. Other satyrs. It's a satyr lord. Get plus one plus one and have haste, and whenever you attack with three or more creatures, you may discard a card at random and draw two cards. It's kind of funny. A satyr lord. Alright, entrancing liar, glimpse of freedom, and Al seed of life's bounty. Alright. So, my experiment's going on, and I'm sitting there looking at it, and I'm starting to realize that my lighting is either wrong or the uh, the apparatus which is my 17 year old phone does not like the lighting in here so I'm gonna have to fix that it doesn't like to zoom in it only likes daylight apparently alright Phoenix of Ash is the rare in this pack it's really hard to get it to, to really show you guys what they are but so that's what that is uh, Renata Siona and Field of Ruin are the uncommons. It's kind of funny. That was like all legendaries. It's not a bad thing. Alright, next pack. And nothing out of that. That's crap. Thassa's Intervention is the rare here. It's not a bad card. It's uh, choose one, two blue, and X. Look at the top X card of your library. Put two of them into your, up to two of them in your hand, and the rest on the bottom of your library, or counter target spell. This controller pays double X. And then Warden of the Chained, Stophos Maze Warden, and Cling to Dust are the uncommons. Alright, next up. I do like the uh, the the lands that came from this set. Uh, I know a lot of people are complaining about that Pokemon look, but I like them. All right, foil is Warbriar Blessing. The rare is Mantle of the Wolf. Antenna creature gets plus four, plus four. All right, plus four, plus four, and when it put into graveyard from the battlefield, create two two twos. So. Alright, and then Arkin of Falling Stars, Midomai's Prophecy, and Minion's Return are the uncommons. And I'm not really going to show you guys specifically or read off the uncommons. Uh, that's not the whole point of this. The point of this is to hopefully get some good stuff, see if there's anything pretty cool out of the box. Hope to get some cool misprints or, or you know, something. That's what the point of this is. Alright, so planes. Alright. Up next is Taranika, a crone warrior. 3 to cast, 3-3, three, three, vigilance when and it attacks, untap another creature you control until on the turn. That creature has base power and toughness 4-4 four, four, and indestructible. Alright, impending doom. Daxos, blessed by the sun. I guess that, that card doesn't come in normal. I think it that's the second one I opened that. I don't know. I don't recall getting a regular looking Daxos. It's possible. Who knows? Uh, they do a lot of weird, funky things in these sets nowadays. You know, they're trying to mix it up, make it a little bit more appealing to the, to the, I guess the buyer. 
All right, up next is the lore of the unknown. All right. Reveal the top six cards of your library. An opponent exiles an online card from among them. Then you put the rest into your hand. That opponent may cast the card. Okay, so you can essentially draw five cards and your opponent gets to cast one for, of those for free. That could backfire on you pretty bad, actually. All right, Triumph of Annex. Serenity Singer and Hateful Eidolon. <clears throat> yeah, that could backfire on you pretty good. Um, you know, depending on what you're playing. If you're playing Commander, that could really backfire on you. Uh, you know, you're playing, I don't know, anything as a big baddie, and it drops on your opponent's side because they were like, yeah, I'll take that one for free. <laughs> Alright, another foil we've got here is Aspect of Lamprey. And the rare, or no, not the rare, sorry, the mythic rare is Calyx, Destiny's Hand. It is four to cast, Planeswalker, with four loyalty. It's plus one is look at the top cards of your library, four cards of your library, reveal an enchantment from among them, and put that card into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. It's down tick of three. Exile target creature enchant or enchantment you don't control until target enchantment you control leaves the battlefield. And it's ultimate. Return all enchantments, enchantment cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. So, it's a shame. It's off color from what I need it to be. To be honest with you, if this was like in, you know, black, blue, or white or any combination of them, it would have been really good. Alright, so Grey Merchant, we've got Gary, uh, Alerios, and Meyer Triton for the Uncommons. Yeah, if that was in any of the, uh, you know, a different color combo, that would have been great for, like, Layla. That would have been really nice, actually. I know that white and green are, you know, or white specifically is the enchantments, but... Alright, let me see what we got here. Alright. Uh, this is Storm Herald. When Storm Herald enters the battlefield, return any number of aura cards from your graveyard to the battlefield attached to creatures you control. Exile those auras at the beginning of your next end step. If those auras would leave the battlefield, basically exile them. Alright, interesting. Uh, Nessian Horn Beetle. Uh, Mirror Shield and a Sea God Scorn are the uncommons. Alright. Still haven't reached or gotten t either of the two that I'm looking for. That's kind of a shame. Alright. Well, that's a good pull right there. Alright, so I have a, a mono green commander deck that I've been making for the last seven years. Um, not really, but for a while now. This guy looks like he's in a, uh, an auto ad, a dryad of the Elysian, is it Elysian or Elysian Grove, three to cast for a two four. Play an additional land on each turn and land you control or every basic land type in addition to their other types. So that's a really good one. How he wasn't a mythic from the beginning, I don't know. And the uncommons are Phalanx Tactics, Banishing Light, and Heroes of the Revel. Um, how he wasn't a mythic, I guess it's the you know. The theory that you got to make some cards rare just so that they're more available. Uh, I think he's pretty good. I mean, yeah, he's a 2 4, but he's, he's not boltable. You know, he can't be bolted right off the bat. That's a good thing. Alright. The rare here is the first Iron Games Cradle 1 1 White Human Soldier, t soldier Token. Put three plus one plus one counters on target creature control. If you control a creature with power four or greater, draw two cards and create a gold token. So, no to I don't know. All right, Destiny Spinner, Underworld Fires, and another Whirlwind Denial. I kind of like the Whirlwind Denial. I I believe that it's good in Commander. I have asked other people, and some people say no. Some people say yes. It counters abilities. So, like, if you hold it for when somebody's going to go off with something, it can counter the ability, and that's a pretty good thing. So, I like it. It's a good for for multiplayer format, I guess. 
Alright. Protean Thaumaturge. Constellation. Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, you Protean Thaumaturge may become a copy of another target creature, except it has this ability. It's a 1 1 for 2. I mean, depends on how you play that one. That could be good. Alright. And Devour of Memory. Blood Aspirant. And Agonizing Remorse. Come on, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm about halfway through the box. I still haven't seen a whole lot as far as the, uh, the mythics, so. Let's see what we got here. It looks like a foil to me. Foil, Nessie, and Horn Beetle. Ooh. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Alright, so, a mythic. It's Erebos, the Bleak Hearted, in a... I guess it's alternate art. I don't know. I don't know if a regular Erebos comes in regular. But either way, that's pretty cool. Alright, so Erebos to Bleak Card is 4 to cast for a 5-6 indestructible. As long as your devotion to black is less than 5, he isn't a creature. And whenever any creature you control dies, you may pay 2 life. And if you do draw a card, and you can pay 2 to sacrifice another creature, and target creature gets minus 2, minus 1 until end of turn. So, I'm not upset about that one. That's a good pool. Uh, I do use the original Erebos. Maybe I can replace him with that if it ends up being better. I don't know. I'll take a look at it. And the uncommons were... Stinging Lionfish, Chainweb, Arachner, and Caliph, Beloved at the Sea. So, And I do apologize. The camera is not doing what I want it to do. Usually when I do this in the daytime, it's pretty good. It's not. Apparently, it doesn't like non-natural light. Maybe if I zoom it out more. You know what? Let me zoom it out all the way. And see if I can't get it to stay focusing. Alright. So. Foil. Another one. This foil is a foil of Daxos. So. There we go. And Perforos's intervention is the the rare here. Choose one, create an X1 red elemental creature token with trample and haste. Sacrifice at the beginning of your end step, the next end step, and uh, Perforos's intervention deals X, twice X damage to a creature or a planeswalker. So, okay, a lot of foils out of this. All right. And the uncommons are Dream Stalker, Manticore, The Binding of Titans, and Soul Guide Lantern. I kind of like this Soul Guide Lantern. I was looking up yesterday a lot of different things that I can do as far as making infinite combos that are <laughs> a little weird and different uh, for Commander. I was trying to look into a uh, uh, a combo with... Uh, I forget the name of it, Thopter or Assembly, or one of the ones that's kind of like Thopter Assembly, where it comes into play with counters, and then you can remove them and put them back on them. And I was trying to see if I could mess with that a little bit. And that card came up as a possibility to go in that. Alright, so, I'm going to zoom in and hope that that helps solve it. I don't know why it's not working correctly today. Alright. The rare was Natessian Boar, 5 to cast, 10, 6. All creatures able to block him do so. Whenever Natessian Boar becomes blocked by a creature, that can treat creature's controller draws a card. So, alright. Ooh, look at that. That's cool. Apex, Enemy of Enlightenment, and Hero of the Winds. Alright. Look, the background is nice and clear. Why can't the cards be nice and clear? Alright. I will get this figured out hopefully before the end of the uh, video. Alright, so... Ooh! Why can't I get an island? Alright, so my foil in here, another foil, is a planes. The new planes. Why can't I get an island out of these? Alright, and the rare is Kiora Best the Sea God. Seven to cast... Saga, create an 8-8 blue kraken token with hexproof, tap all non-land permanents, target opponent controls, they don't untap during the controller's next untap step, and gain control of target permanent and opponent controls, and untap it. 
So, so far out of the two boxes, I've got at least one foil land. And so far it's been a green and a white. So, Forest and a Plains. Acolyte of Affliction, Escape Velocity, and Sage of Mysteries is the uncommons. That's a lot of foils. I know that they increased the rate of foils, but wow. To what, to what end? To what point? I mean, jeez, ew. Alright, up next. Uh, Cetessian Champion. 3 to cast for a 1-3 constellation whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control. Put a plus one plus one counter on him and draw a card. So, not bad. Uh, I do do a lot with enchantments, unfortunately not in green. Uh, in green I like to, you know, obviously like everybody go with creatures. Alright, Laguna Band Storyteller, Farika's Spawn, and Sedesian Petitioner were the uncommons in that pack. Alright, All right, up next. Foil, another one. Stern Dismissal. And Eidolon of Obstruction is the rare. It's a 2 to cast. 2-1, first strike. Uh, spirit, enchantment creature, loyalty abilities of planeswalkers your opponents control, costs one more to cast, or to activate. I actually have to look up rulings on that card. I'm not 100% sure if I understand it 100%. Uh, what happens with, like, when you're taking off or adding, you know what I mean? Is it only affect the taking off, does it only affect the adding on? You know, I have to take a look at that. And... Underworld Dreams, Mischievous Chimera, and Careless Celebrant are the uncommons. Uh, I told you guys last time, first box I opened, man, Underworld Dreams was always a good card. It's weird that they put it in here. I'm not 100% sure why they added it to this set, but... Alright, let's see what's next. Alright, ooh, Foil Mythic. Wrong one. Alright, uh, I wish this was Heliod, that would have been great, but the full mythic for the case, it looks like, is Elspeth, Sun's Nemesis. Uh, looks pretty cool, it's a regular foil. Uh, for the cast, five, for 5 loyalty plus 1, up to 2 creatures you control, deal, uh, each get plus 2 plus 1 on the turn, create 2 one, one human soldier creature tokens, and you gain 5 life. You know, I'm actually thinking about it. I'm doing Loro, Super Friends, and he, this one does everything I needed to do. Create tokens, gain life, and it can come back. I don't know, that's actually pretty good. Alright, Ashiox Eraser was the regular card in here. It's a uh, 2 to cast enchantment, Flash. Uh, it enters the battlefield, exile a spell, and your opponents can't cast spells of the same name as the exiled card, and... When it leaves the battlefield, return the card to its owner's hand. Hmm. That's actually not bad for... For... Alayla, either. Alright. Staggering Insight, Shimmery, Shimmerwing, Chimera, and Dawn of Angel are the uncommons. Hey, I might have to go through some of these cards and maybe make some changes to the decks I'm already making. I've already made a million changes to each of those two decks, by the way, guys. Uh, the reason why it's taking me so long is because the choices are immense. I never thought there would be so many choices. Alright, up next. Our rare is Dream Trawler. Six to cast for a 3-5. Flying lifelink. Whenever you draw a card. Let me see if I can't get this to focus real quick. I'm not sure why it's having an issue. There we go. Flying lifelink. Whenever you draw a card, Dream Trawler gets plus one plus zero until end of turn. Whenever Dream Trawler attacks, draw a card and discard a card. And Dream Trawler gains hexproof, and you tap it. Alright, Fateful End, Inevitable End. Okay, and the birth of Malaya. The irony here. End and birth. <laughs> oh, the irony. Alright, we're down to... That was two-thirds of the box. Alright. 
foil, faith, final death, and the rare is Kunoros, Hound of Athreos, 3 to cast, 3 3, the Vigilance, Madness, Lifelink, you know, all that good stuff. Care, creature cards and graveyards can't uh, enter the battlefield, and players can't get spells from graveyards. A lot of hate there. Alright, and the uncommons are an inevitable end again. Whirlwind Denial, awesome. And Skophos, Maze Warden. I like getting Whirlwind Denials. I do like the card. I really do. I know I said it before, but I really do like the card. Alright, next pack. What have we got now? Uh, it is Hack Hactos the Unscarred. I wish this camera would focus in a little bit more. Alright, there it is. Uh, attacks each combat if able. When it enters the battlefield, choose 2, 3, or 4 at random. Uh, it has protection from each converter mana cost other than the chosen number. It's actually not bad. That's actually a pretty cool card. Uh, and, uh, it's legendary, so that's even better. So it can even be a commander. Uh, Red White has a problem with, with being able to stand up for a commander. So, at least they're trying. Uh, Devourer of Memories, Banishing Light, and Dawn of Angel. You know, it's funny. I noticed that whenever I uh, <laughs> show the rare, it goes out of focus. When I show the uncommons, they seem to focus. Come on now. Just my luck. I've learned that I'm probably never going to do this at night again, by the way. Alright. There we go. Oh, it's... this. <laughs> uh, Mythic is Polychronos, the Unchained. Uh, I was hoping for the other one. I did get this in the other box. Uh, for the cast. For a 0-0. Zero, zero. When it enters the battlefield. Put it with 6 plus 1 plus 1 counters on it. Uh, it escapes with 12 counters on it. Uh, if damage will be dealt to Polychronos. While it has a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it. Prevent the damage and remove that many counters instead. Uh, for 3. You can have fight another target creature. And it escapes for... Four and a black and a green, and you exile six other cards. So let me see if I can't get this to focus because guess what? I'm gonna show you the uncommons. I bet you it focuses. There we go. So I don't know why it's not focusing, but I read it off to you. Worst case scenario, I can you know send you to a place that'll tell you what it does if you don't know what it does. Escape Velocity. Look, look at that. I showed you the uncommons and look what it did. It focused in so that you could read the cards. I don't get it. Maybe I'll show you the the rares and the uncommons together then. Gotta go with the flow, right guys? It's all live. I can't reseal these packs, so... I can't do anything about it. Alright, Nightmare Shepherd for the cast. 4-4 four, four Flyer whenever... Another non-token creature you control dies. You may exile it. If you do, create a token that's a copy of it, except it's a 1-1 and a nightmare in addition to its other types. So, it's actually not a bad card. It's a Fortacast 4-4 four, four Flyer. Regardless of what you do, it's still a Fortacast 4-4 four, four Flyer. Renata, Sea God Scorn, and Birth of Melitus, Melitus, whatever you want to call it. No Hilad and no Ashiok. Another Elspeth. Oh, joy. It looks like this is the box of Elspeth. So a regular Elspeth was the card. Maybe you can read it better when I... Interesting. Alright, so either I need a new, uh, a new way to film these, or I just need to never do this at night again. Alright, Faithful End, Shimmerwing, and Stinging Lionfish. Alright, that's 
nothing. Alright. Nylea's Intervention, 2 to cast, or 2 and two green and X. You can search your library for X land cards, which I like, or you can do twice X damage to creatures with flying. Alright. Uncommons are Mystic Repeal, Hydra's Growth, and Heliod's Punishment. I think we're down to like five or six packs and this nightmare can end. Alright. Arkin of Sun's Grace was the rare. It is 4 to cast, 3 4, flying lifelink. That's pretty good by itself. Pegasus creatures you control have lifelink and consolation whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under control. Create a 2 2 white Pegasus creature token with flying. Uh, so, it's a semi-Pegasus, uh, uh, lord, if you will. So, maybe Pegasus, uh, tribal will be a thing. Alright, Rite of Glory, Furious Rise, and another Underworld Dream. And again, as I'm going over the uncommons, they came in crystal clear and the rare did not. I don't get it. Alright, well... Let's figure it out. All right, Whoa Strider. Let me see if I do it like this. If it's gonna do it. There we go. Whoa Strider enters the battlefield. Create no one goat. Create creature token. Sacrifice another creature. Scry one and escape. Exile another card from your graveyard uh, for five, and it escapes with two plus one plus encounters on it. So that worked a little bit. Uh, drag to the underworld, Nyx, Herald, and one with the stars. So apparently this just depends on how I hold it that it focuses in correctly. And I don't like the angle it is. So, I do apologize again. I will not be doing this at night again. Apparently my lighting situation isn't right or... I don't know. Alright, let's see. Alright. Heliod's Intervention... Choose one, destroy X target artifacts and or enchantments, which is really good, especially in Commander. Target player gains twice X life. You know, this might actually go into Loro. I might have to remove something for that. Careless Celebrant, Laguna Band Storyteller, and Sage of Mysteries. With the uncommons. Alright, next pack. I'm getting down to it. I think this is one of three left. Alright. So, foil. Omen of the Hunt. That actually shows the foil nice. Uh, Arasha of the Endless Web is the rare. Four to cast, three, five. Whenever an opponent casts an instant or sorcery spell, create a one, two spider creature token with reach. I kind of like that card, actually. I was thinking about trying to do an Ishkana tribal spider, but it didn't have I didn't have enough to go with it. And those are the uncommons. Alright. Next Another foil. Reverend Hoplite. And the rare is Sass's Oracle. Uh, two to cast for a 1-3. Uh, it enters the battlefield. Look at the top X cards of your library, where X is your devotion to blue. Put up to one of them on top of your library, and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. And if X is greater than or equal to the number of cards in your library, you win the game. So it's an alt-win condition. It's not really a great card. Uh, it doesn't let you draw a card, which is kind of disappointing. At least it could have given you one. All right. Destiny Spinner. Acolyte of Affliction and Farika's Spawn are the uncommons. Alright, last pack. I don't think I'm going to get it. I'm not going to get it. Come on, give it to me. I need one. Just one to at least finish the Aloro deck. And it's not going to give it to me, guys. Alright, well, that was disappointing. So, it looks like uh, because it didn't give me either one of them, this is going to have to be the video for tomorrow which is Friday uh, I try to put them out every Friday so I can't finish the other two decks without at least a copy of them so the rare here was Ephemia the Cacophony 
cacophony to the gas 2-1 flyer flying at the beginning of your end step you may exile an enchantment card from your graveyard if you do create a 2-2 two -two zombie so I'm sorry to say that that means that this is gonna have to go up tomorrow I was hoping otherwise but all right and the uncommons were annex Cetacean petitioner and mirror shield so all right well that's highly disappointing. I at least wanted one Ashiok. I mean, I know I got <laughs> two Planeswalkers. One was in foil, and you can't really complain about that. However, it's not the one that I wanted. And usually that's the case when it comes to opening up packs. You never know what you're going to get, and usually it's never the one you won. It's always one that you have to trade out for somebody, and it's never really the one that's of higher value. But it is what it is. I will go ahead and post this up, uh, and you guys can watch it for your viewing pleasure it might not be as easy to do as my normal videos and even them they're not really all that great either but uh the video quality on this one was a little worse than i again i will apologize up and down uh there's not much i can say other than i was hoping that the camera would hold up and it did not so uh that is it for kraken packs uh with uh arrows beyond death box number two of six uh, as always, any questions, comments, concerns, uh, in the section below, you can go ahead and, and voice them. I implore you to do so. I will not mind. Uh, please be positive if you can. Uh, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Uh, I'd like to get this out there to people. Let them see, you know, the, the horrors that are of opening a box for some people. And while other people have luck, I did not today. And uh, I will see you next time. Thanks and enjoy your day.